Okay, guys, I have um, decided to move on to something different. Um, I've had this dresser piece for a while. It used to be part of another set, but it seems to be very efficient in here for me to put my paints and things on. So I'm just going to play around with this color. I've been wanting to do like... Um, like a vintage duck egg or so you're gonna come up with. So um, that's pretty much what I'm doing right now. And I want it to um, just come in here and try to give you guys some little tips to continue your second coat. So right now I'm still in my first coat and I have to actually turn it. So you guys can see it. And I am going to let's see about getting this down. Turning flip mode. Sorry, guys. So you guys can see what I'm doing here. So um, I'm going to dip it in my paint. And then I'm going to spray. Kind of mist it a little bit because you never want to start out with a dry brush. I'm using synthetic brush because I want to reduce my, um, uh oh, got some hair there. Just take that out and keep moving. Um, I want to reduce my brush strokes. Let's see. So I've already um, put a light scuff, uh, sanding scuff on this laminate. Seems like it's like a laminate, it's not real wood. Um, I put a light scuff on it. Actually, I scuffed it twice just to make sure. Um, so when you notice that your paint is going to be um, getting a little bit dry, you can still miss it. And you see how I'm able to even go a little further with um, the paint. So I really didn't have to dip into my paint just to get even this far. And as long as there's paint on the brush, you still have um, some opportunity to um, at least get that first coat on. And your first coat does not have to be that thick. Um, and your second coat doesn't either. But usually with Dixie Belle, it only requires two coats. Fill in these little right to the bottom. I'm going to end up changing these legs because I'm about sick of looking at them. <laughs> okay, so, um, and then go back over it. So, this is pretty much it. Um, you want to make sure that you get inside your drawers and then if you can, you can kind of lift up and see all the spots that you've missed. And I've missed quite a bit here. You will definitely notice how smooth your glide, you glide right across the paint so smooth when you use this Mr. Bottle. I love it because it's like an aerosol. And you don't have to worry about too much paint running. It just makes painting so much easier. Just like you would if you were rolling it. Okay. So now we're done with that side. The other side needs time to dry. And I'm going to go ahead on and go over to my drawers. Which I have already done the first coat. So I need to do the second coat. I'll be right back. So as I was saying, right over to the edge, you don't want to put too much paint, start off with too much paint. You want to start in the middle because most of your paint is going to be on your brush. And when you get to the edge, you want to have the least amount of paint on your brush because it's just easier to keep from having your bleed overs or your run overs on the edge. And then you can clean those up if you do have any and it won't be such a big deal. So now that I'm done with my two drawers, um, I'm going to wait a minute because the other side, I know I need to do one more coat on that side and then finish on the inside. And then hopefully um, when my handles get in here um, when they come in I'll be able to change the handles and then um, hopefully we will see what it looks like I'm not too confident 
I won't say confident, but I don't know if I like the top of that. I really don't. It's kind of brown and um, it does have, let's see so you can see it. It does have like a wood grain. I did that with my wood graining tool, but it's kind of dark. And I wish I did, I wish I had something like really light, um, which I think would go great because I was going for a farmhouse look. And I might just end up sanding it down and putting maybe a white on the top or um, an off-white on the top just to see uh, what it would look like. But I'm just not quite feeling this dark brown. But the great thing about Dixie Belle paint is just paint over it. So what's going to happen this time is um, I'm going to come back on another episode and uh, we'll kind of finish this up because I'm really not feeling this dark top. Really not feeling this dark top to go with this beautiful light uh, mint color. It looks blue on camera, but it's a mint color and um, I love the farmhouse look. So I might end up painting it white. I'm not really sure. Or I might just rip off the top and um, go for wood and stain the wood and go for that look. You'll really be the first to see it if you press the subscribe button down below. And make sure that you subscribe and ring the bell so that you get notified on all the new projects. And you can share my new journey with me running from... Um, or coming from a fashion designer and now I'm into designing paint objects, painting objects, painting paint and all of my bloopers. You guys will be right there with me um, because I plan on growing and I appreciate everything um, that you guys have done to encourage me during this process. So I'll see you guys later. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.
to clean that off. And we're going to put a primer on here, which is actually boss. Bell Boss. And this is blocks odors, stains, and this stops the bleed. There we go. So I'm going to put this Dixie Bell Boss on here. I'm going to let it dry. And stop this bleed through. And this is Dixie Bell Boss Clear. Because I might want to distress it once I paint it white and then this brown is going to come up through it. Which will be great. I love this stuff. It works so well with bleed throughs. And just to be on the safe side, this is exactly what I'm doing because changing my mind one time, and then once I finally make up my mind, I definitely don't want to like it and then turn around and have problems later. So better safe than sorry. Now the Dixie Bell box um, looks like it's gonna go on a little milky, but it dries clear. It is available in white if I didn't want to distress it and I didn't want anything to pop through underneath my white. Then that will be the one that you would get, the Dixie Bell box in white. It'll help brighten up the white that you already have. So, we're going to let this dry and we're going to come back to it. Okay? Okay, so my top has dried and I am going to start off with an off-white So I'm going to start off with my corners first, so I don't have to worry about them later. So I just want to get ready to make my straight strokes. We'll have to go over them. So we're going to do an off-white base, and then we'll probably end up doing a white base on top. So this is, again, the base coat, just so I don't have to ruin my white, bright white, since that's what I love. Bright white top coat, even though I want this to be sort of farmhousey. Um, I don't know. I still don't care for the off-white look. Not unless it's severely distressed. So once I put this on, and I'll worry about the top. We'll let this dry, and then we'll put the white on top. Or I might even change my mind. I might decide <laughs> to put <laughs> the men on top and just dress it up with nice gold legs. 
I can always do gold leaf legs. I have that coming in the mail. Gold leaf paper. I can do the legs. Gold leaf, and I can do gold handles, which I have coming. So, we will see how that goes, won't we? That's what is my favorite saying. If it don't go right, paint over it. All right, let me get these brush strokes straight, just in case. That's the only thing I don't like is when brush strokes are all diagonal and then it comes through. Oh, let me get these sides. Okay, so we're gonna wait for this to dry. And then what we'll do is wait for it to dry and then we'll probably go back over it with a white or I might decide to do it in the, um, the vintage duck egg. So, um, or should I say it's like a Tiffany blue. Once, I, once it dried, it looked like Tiffany blue. 
So I might decide to do something like that. Maybe I'll add a transfer a little bit later, but um, I still think it'll be a beautiful piece. So I'll talk to you guys soon. Some brand new legs and hardware, maybe a transfer, I don't know. We'll see what we come up with. So I'll be back to show um, the final staging project. And I wanna thank you all for um, coming in on part two of the dresser, uh, the Tiffany dresser, as I call it. So um, anyway, thanks again. Make sure you subscribe. I'm always going to be doing something um, maybe twice a month. It just depends on uh, how many uh, items I can get in. Plus, I did not film a whole lot of my other projects that I already did. So as I get new and exciting pieces in, I'll be making sure to put those and upload those um, on my channel. And you all have a great day. Again, this is Alicia Gagné of Gagné Atelier Home, and I appreciate you for watching. Take care.